back to the travel vlogs. As you saw, woke up this morning, headed down to the gym, got in a little workout, went and got a very expensive Americano, which I have finished and I am now on the Keurig Mountain, Green Mountain pod. Not too bad. Getting ready to head on over to the conference. So I'm gonna do my skincare routine this morning, which I'm just gonna come in with sunscreen straight to my face, doing the e.l.f. Whoa! Glow, almost finished with this. This is my second tube of Woe Glow. I slept really well last night, except I woke up in the middle of the night. Does this happen to anyone else when you're staying in a hotel or sleeping, you know, somewhere that's not your usual sleeping place? I woke up in the middle of the night, panicked, like where am I? Have I been kidnapped and taken somewhere against my will? And then it's like, no, 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 no. You start coming down to earth, right? Um, in your head, you're like, no, 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 no. It's not a scary situation. But then you're like, where exactly am I? And it, your brain has to wake up a little bit for you to put the pieces together. Oh yeah, I went ahead and got dressed. I'm wearing this little sweater with a heart. This came from Bloomingdale's and it's got these cute little, where'd they go? Where'd they go? Oh, there they are. It's got these cute little buttons on the side, which I don't know if they actually unbutton. Yeah, they do. They do actually unbutton. Never really bothered to do that. All right, now that I've got my sunscreen on, a little lip balm. This is technically a lip mask. My lips are feeling a little dry. I have a harder time drinking my usual amount of water when I travel, but I filled up. This is a um, water bottle I bring when I travel. It's a Yeti. I love it because I don't normally like these aluminum water bottles or drink cups, but the thing I like about this is that it has this topper where obviously you can put a straw through there or you can just drink straight out, but the topper itself also comes out. Of course, my hands are moisturized. Also comes off, which I really like because that way when you go to fill up, you don't have to put the part that's been on your mouth up against something and risk touching the spout. I love that. Um, so, you know, it's a lot easier to fill directly into this. All right, I'm all ready. I put on the Hydro Boost Hydrating Lip Shine Radiant Rose that I always wear because it matches my sweater. I also put on my bracelet. Why not? Oh. Maybe I should take a bike. You get a free complimentary bike. Can you stay here? <laughs> Look, it's got a little, <laughs> it squeaks. <laughs> These are cute. All right, we're here. It was case four, now it's case three. Uh, and uh, this is my disclosure. There's more uh, information on your uh, on the website, whatever. Um, okay, and uh, you have the QR code. You've seen that already, so you know just. Okay, so those of you who are old enough uh, may remember uh, Dick Dobson. He was uh, uh, he was president of the academy at one time. He said there's uh, two reasons to do a KOH. Um, it's when you think it's a fungus and you think it's not a fungus. So uh, I put on the course of our patient, our heart We're here in the exhibit hall. Apparently there's some sort of disrupt the fury. Enter the booth and face the dragon. <laughs> okay. It's a very uh, rainforest cafe esque pharma booth. Here's PCA Skin, award winner 2024 New Beauty. New Beauty 2024 award winner. Pearl Max Age Renewal Advanced Serum with Growth Factor Technology. <laughs> A new pigment correct peel with lactic acid and mandelic acid and pyruvic acid. Those are 
alpha hydroxy acids and then tranexamic acid topically can help with redness, maybe to a certain extent hyperpigmentation, more so the oral tranexamic acid. We have the big Botox lounge. We have Image Skincare. I tried one of their sunscreens a few years ago, the Daily Prevention, I think it was, and I really liked it. it looks like they have a SPF 75 mineral moisturizer. Water resistant. It looks promising. Where's that at? All right, we have the Unilever booth with Vaseline. quiet space. I don't have my wind guard on. Check out the sculpture. It's neat looking. <sighs> well, the meeting was fun. I am on my way to a little cocktail hour slash gathering. So I'm just wearing what I wore to the conference, but it's kind of far away. So I'm taking an Uber. back from the party it was a lot of fun I got to meet some people that I interact with on social media and I've never met in person and then I got to talk with some older friends of mine that I've known for several years and just haven't seen in a while plus I got to meet some new people met some people from rock um, and it was really fun they had you know little drinks and snacks and things of that sort but it was just such a beautiful view and really peaceful there Anyway, I wanted to share with you guys, you saw today I went in the exhibit hall and I went over to the Unilever booth and they gave away this little cute bag with some freebies inside. So I wanted to share with you all what came in the little bag. First of all, isn't it a nice bag? You know, people always complain about, I don't need another bag, but honestly, I use 99% of any bags that I'm ever given, whether it be this kind of thing or like those little grocery reusable bags. I use them for my library books. I cannot get enough totes, but I know I'm in the minority on that one. Um, I also wear a lot of like, if I'm given a t-shirt or a sweatshirt or something, I may not wear it out in public ever, but you can trust. I mean, you guys see me in my home. I'm always like wearing 
a get up, right? Of some sort of some sort of raggedy loungewear. <laughs> so I wear those things. Anyway, all that to say, what came in this? First of all, I did not, it didn't dawn on me that Shea Moisture is a Unilever company, but I currently use, they have a salicylic acid shampoo that I use and really like, and they also have a salicylic acid leave-in gel that I highly recommend, especially if you have a hair type that doesn't tolerate frequent shampooing, but you deal with dandruff, You've been told, oh, shampoo your scalp more frequently, shampoo your scalp more frequently, um, but your hair type doesn't withstand that. Try this leave-in product from Shea Moisture. It's their dandruff leave-in product. It's really good. It's salicylic acid, which helps to calm down the inflammation as well as exfoliate the flakes that lead to dandruff. Anyway, they gave a sample of, I'll probably use this tonight actually, the Coconut and Hibiscus Curl and Shine Shampoo does not appear to have methyl isothiazolinone. They also gave this curl enhancing smoothie. I don't know if you can see that. So that looks good. Then I got a sample of Dove Men's Hydrating Body Face Wash. Might even give that a try tonight. Why not? Oh, a Dove Sensitive Skin Fragrance Free Body Wash. Then a Dove Sensitive Skin little bar. This is really good. You can wash your face with this. It's a um, Sindap bar. So it's not like a true soap. It's not like a true bar soap. The pH is much better for the skin barrier. So it's gentle enough to use on the face for people with sensitive skin or atopic dermatitis. So got a little mini one of those. Also got a little mini sample. I'm gonna use this tonight too, why not? The Vaseline Radiant Nourishing Body Lotion. I've seen this in Walgreens. I've seen it in the drugstore a fair amount. I've been wanting to try it. So we're gonna give that a try tonight. But let's be honest, this is the most high yield, one of the most high yield things that came in this little pouch. Can never have enough petroleum jelly. They also gave, I was recently talking about this in Target, the All Over Body Balm Stick. This is so good. It's a petrolatum based stick skin protectant. It's great for your hands. It's also good if you have chafing. You can use it on your lips, around your eyes, on your face if you want to. It's really good, the All Over Body Balm. And I was most excited to hear about this new Dove Scalp line that they have. Well, this is a Fullness Restore Scalp Serum. It's basically a moisturizing, water-based, hydrating serum to soothe um, the scalp, and it says to boost density. I think probably just by helping to maybe calm down inflammation in the scalp. It has lactic acid, which is hydrating, niacinamide, which is good for redness and irritation, zinc gluconate, it says, did you know 99% of your hair's natural nourishment and strength comes from your scalp? Dove Scalp Plus Hair Therapy Collection cares for the source of beautifully growing hair, your scalp. For thicker, stronger, fuller hair from root to tip. It's a three-in-one scalp serum powered by scalp and hair nourishing ingredients. Niacinamide moisturizes scalp, zinc and peptides fortify roots, and glycerin boosts visible hair density. I'm not sure how that works, but it does have fragrance. Divide hair into small sections from front to back. Add three full droppers directly to damp or dry scalp, beginning with area of concern. Then gently massage and style as usual. I don't think this is gonna do anything to help with hair growth, but hey, we'll give it a try at some point. I thought that was a good little goodie bag. I mentioned this in yesterday's vlog in case you missed it. I brought with me very little in the realm of skincare. I just brought the Cicaplas gel, which I normally use as a moisturizer exclusively around my eyes because it really does give a nice pack of hydration. But for this trip, I've been using it all over my face. And oh, y'all. So I did in fact fire up the Shea Moisture Coconut and Hibiscus curl and shine shampoo and the conditioner and oh my goodness obviously too premature to say anything about how my hair is going to end up looking stay tuned come back next weekend because i'm going to continue vlogging this trip i have a few more days here um, so make sure you come back next weekend to see what my hair looks like but all that to say the smell 
is amazing. These are really nice scents. Coconut oil is really good for reducing high growth fatigue. These are, these are nice scents. Marketed for thick and curly hair, which I have medium thickness hair and wavy hair. Like I said, I wanna come in with this. Unfortunately, oh good. There's a little notch here, but my hands are wet. This is the Vaseline Nourishing Body Lotion. It has 1% niacinamide. Now niacinamide is good for dark spots and you don't need a real high strength to get there. Whoo, that came off. All right, so this is a lotion. It does have fragrance, but I'm kind of optimistic about the smell. Ooh, it's nice. You know what? It sort of smells a little bit like an amber scent. Ooh, it's a nice glossy, glossy texture. All right, I went ahead and put on my lemon PJs again. So comfortable. But first impression on this, I actually like it. I love, I, I feel like the consistency, the formula is a lot more luxurious in comparison to some other body moisturizers. It's a really luxurious formula. Creamy, silky, glossy. It's glossy. This is the kind of moisturizer you put on before you put on a little dress that has your arms and legs out and you want your arms and legs to look good. This. The scent is nice. It's not strong. It's not headache inducing. It's almost a hint in the realm of shea butter slash a warm amber, but not, sometimes amber can be like. So I'm glad I had the opportunity to try that. Let me get my hands. Don't forget moisturizing your hands. So today, one of the lectures that I went to was about managing the um, spectrum of skin conditions that um, are called, they're basically when the epidermis dies off. A lot of times it can happen as an adverse cutaneous drug rash, um, but it can also happen related to lupus. And it was all about how to distinguish, is it from a drug rash or is it from lupus? And some other kind of less common mimickers in which like the main skin finding is, well, death of the epidermis and you get, you know, you turn red and then you have like the skin is just like peeling away and you can see a rawness underneath and it's very painful and very tender. Um, but it's the kind of thing where if you don't understand uh, the time course, what happens is a lot of patients get put on a medication and they have an adverse drug rea reaction to it, but the rash takes a couple of weeks to show up. And one of the first signs that it shows up is actually like just feeling sort of ill, malaise, sore throat. So you have a sore throat, maybe you go to urgent care because you don't feel great, you have a sore throat, you get put on an antibiotic. And so then when you start having this rash, everyone thinks that it's the antibiotic that caused the rash. But you have to go back even further in time and say, no, it was actually this drug that you were put on. Drug rea skin reactions to medications, they're not, in the grand scheme of things, the likelihood of any one individual developing a drug rash to a medication they're on is pretty rare. But in dermatology, we deal with the rare all day. It can really actually skew your worldview quite a bit. Um, and so, I don't want you guys to be terrified of medications that you're gonna get a rash where your skin sloughs off. It's nice to have the meeting here. It's actually colder than I was anticipating, but it's not like freezing cold. It's nice to have it here as opposed to, a lot of times I'll have it in Boston or DC and I just find that it's often cold. And coming from Texas, I'm no longer dressed for that you know i don't really i mean i have coats and stuff but it's it always throws you off you know what i mean you're like Ew. like you'll have a coat but you might not have the right shoes you know because you're not used to dressing that way all right you guys i am all moisturized hydrated ready to hit the sack have an early morning tomorrow so make sure you come back next weekend for the remainder of these san diego aad travel vlogs um, but thank you so much for watching this one all the way to the end. I greatly appreciate it. I hope you're having a fantastic weekend. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your friends. And as always, don't forget, 
sunscreen and subscribe. I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. Bye. <laughs>